welcome to The Magic of Marketing, where each week you get a hot tip to help you grow your business and change the world. I'm your host, Jennifer Trask, and this week we are talking about something pretty big and pretty important, which is when tragedy happens, how do you get remotivated? See, we're always on the go button as entrepreneurs and always used to overachieving and doing more, but the reality is that we're humans and therefore something is eventually going to happen that's going to put the stop button on things for us. And that recently happened to me with my father's passing. And actually today I'm sitting in his favorite chair in his home uh, to pay homage to him and um, just doing this video uh, for you from there because it has enabled me obviously to having to go through this has enabled me to come up with this content for you um, and really I'm hoping that it will be able to help you uh, for when something like this does happen because because the truth is that it will at some point in time now whether that's a passing of someone or uh, a breakup or making a really bad decision that has a lot of negative consequences um, at some point in time something's gonna happen and we need to have the best tools as possible to deal with them. So that's what I hope to give to you today because um, I actually, when I sat down to think about it, it came into me in six steps and these have really helped me move forward and continue to move forward uh, as I move through this time. So without further ado, the first step that I have found uh, to be useful in getting back your motivation is to accept reality as it is. Uh, it's really hard sometimes to recognize that something is not as it is anymore, and uh, in particular when someone you love leaves. However, that's not reality. Reality is that it is as it is right now, and that you need to do the best you can with where you've got, and it's really hard to move forward if you don't accept it. The second step is to honor your healing time, to recognize that even though, oh, you have so many things on that to-do list, that you need to really be with yourself, be with your emotions, um, feel the way that you feel. And, you know, people who move on quickly and move forward, it's not that they don't necessarily feel any negative emotions, sad or mad or angry or whatever comes up for them. It's that they do go there, but they don't stay there for long. And that's really the difference. They stay there for as long as they need to be there in order to really feel it, own it, be there. But then they move out of it. They don't sit there idly for a very long time. So this is really, really important. And only you know the answer of time that's right for you, but I think you will know the difference of just needing to be there versus being there because, you know, you can because of what happened or um, because it's easier than moving forward. So that's for you to decide, but you do need to honor your healing time. You do need to be there for yourself and allow yourself to be not okay because a lot of times... It's not okay in the beginning and that's okay that it's not okay <laughs> and that will also help you with step number one which is to accept reality when you allow yourself to be where you are and feel how you feel okay step is to get back to reality to some degree in fact if you talk to parents particularly parents with young children who go through something some type of tragedy, they'll tell you often that their kids were the best blessing for them because their kids made them come back to reality every day into present moment with them. And this can be really healthy. So get back to your real life to some degree. It doesn't have to be full on. Whether that's to you know go back to work for a little bit or volunteer or go be with kids or whatever that is for you, but get back to some real time because too much idle time is going is not good for anybody really. The mind can wander so much and it can keep you deeper in those negative emotions. So you really want to do something for yourself to get back into some routine, whether that's going to the gym, being with kids, going to work for a bit, whatever that is for you, uh, make sure you do that. And do that, uh, you know, give yourself that kickstart as soon as you can because it's going to make you feel a lot better. The fourth thing that you can do to get remotivated 
is to accept help from other people. Let people be there for you. Oftentimes you are probably constantly the giver and now it's your time to receive. It's the natural give and take of the universe, right? Give and we shall receive. So make sure that you honor that. You know, let people cook for you and take you out or, you know, just call you or be there for you or sit there with you. Whatever that is for you, whatever it is for them, um, allow them to be your friend and accept that. And don't feel guilty about accepting it. People want to help. Uh, people want to be there for you in this particular time. So let them. Let them and enjoy it and be grateful for it. Which leads me to number five. Go to gratitude. Um, oftentimes when we look back in our, on our life, hindsight is always 2020, right? The biggest tragedies usually lead to some of our biggest triumphs. Really, they allow us to move into the person that we're meant to become. Um, because oftentimes it takes going through something really difficult to shift perspective sometimes. So when something really bad does happen, figure out what great things have come from it. One of the best things that I did was, was quite therapeutic actually was um, write my 10 lessons that I learned from my dad. And if you missed it, you can go back and see the tribute blog because I did put it up for people and it was very therapeutic for me um, because it made me feel so grateful that while our time got cut short, we did have that time, that it was 32 years for me anyways of having a, a great dad, the best dad I could ever ask for. And uh, being able to look at it from that perspective really helped me move forward uh, through it. So go to gratitude is number five. Uh, find the good in the situation. There always is some. And the sooner you can find it, the sooner you will be able to move forward from it. The sixth and final thing that you can do to get remotivated when something really bad happens is that you need to reconnect to your original vision. Why did you get into business in the first place? Go back to that original idea of how you wanted to help change the world because no doubt that's what you're doing, what you're doing, right? And the faster that you can start focusing on helping other people, you're really going to help yourself at the same time. So reconnect to all the lives that you're going to change and the spinoff from helping those people. Also connect to part of the reason we go through this and part of the great sort of side benefit of growing a business is that you grow yourself, who you become in the process. So go back to when you have that vision and whatever it is that you're working towards, who are you aiming to be, who are you becoming, and all the people that you're going to help and the difference that you're going to make in your business, um, and how that reflects as well to your family, uh, those around you, because of course, as you grow your business, you're growing yourself, which then is helping those around you. So connect back to that, reignite that spark, um, because the more you can focus on getting back to helping other people and helping the community um, and really going outside of yourself, the more motivated you will be to get back into it. Um, and you'll start to feel good when you get back to your clients and um, you know, you're helping them and it really actually does make you feel better. The first thing that I did when I first went back to work, I just did my coaching calls. That's all I did. Um, oh, that's not true. I did send my email, my weekly email. Um, but coaching calls and my weekly email, and that's all I did for the, for the first week. And it felt so good to see their faces, to talk about what's going on with them, to know the uh, progress that they had made. It was, it was really great, and it definitely got me excited um, and got me feeling much, much better just in the day. So hopefully these six steps have been able to help you. If you have been through something and you found something else that have helped you, please put it in the comments. Let me know um, how have you gotten through things so that we can spread the word for others as well and put these into action for yourself. Um, let us know how they've helped you. 
And of course, don't forget to share this video if you really liked it. And if you're not signed up for email updates, make sure you do that at jennifer-trask.com because we do lots of things just via email as well. So thanks so much for being here. I look forward to hearing your comments and I will see you next week on the magic of marketing. Bye.